inde kaskanci ne wannan kasa musamman ta Najeriya wallahi yanzu ne ma ta fara shiga kaskanci dan saboda haka ko ba haka bane ba ku sani kamar yande wato mai bayani na farko yayi muku bayani insha Allah ba wai wadannan ne kawai muke da burin ko ba ka mu zo mu zaunar da su a wannan wuri ba da kai buharin kanka da kuma waye ne shi wanda yake da suna yan rufai da ma sauran senatocin ku da menene vice president din kansa da yan majalisin ku da kowa naku kai har kansulolin ku insha Allah sai kun zo a kaskance kun zauna kamar yadda wadannan Allah ya kaskantar da su saboda haka wallahi ku shirya in dai fada da Allah ne wallahi baku isa ba kuma mu muna da tabbacin cewa wallahi baku isa ku fada da Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ba ina fatan kuna fahimta saboda haka dai kamar yadda nai muka bayani wannan shine abun da kenan zan takaita insha Allah ku shirya fada da Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala salatu wa salam ala rasulullah to gwamnati ka sani ni ne daga daya wayanda suka fito da ku je ga ni nan Allah ya fito da ni da an ce Allah ya fito da ni da an canji da ni da wayannan bolayen Allah ya fito da ni ga nan yanzu wannan bindiga zan ƙara rike ta kasan nan sai mu rugu da gaba daya insha Allah mu mutanen gaba daya in za ku zo ku bi addini ku zo ku bi amma muna nan muna kan bakan mu addini nan sai ya sai ya yadu ko ina insha Allah ka sani sai mun kama ka da hannu mun kawo ka gegin nan mu yanka ka da dan rufai ka duk nan gaba daya babu shi ku sani gani nan cikin daji na yanzu kuma ku dube da kyau ba wai ba ku sani ba kun sani kun tura duniya gaba daya duk inda aka gani a nemo ni a kama ni to ni ma duk inda duk inda na gan ku ni ma a nemo min ku ni ma ina so in kama ku yanzu nan gaba daya ku zan kashe su Allahu akbar aka iya ma tsorawa ina na mu kusa ta ai ina cikin wanda aka kama a jirgin kasa dan 28 jirgin kasan gwamnatin Najeriya to mu ba musallifin mu da muka yi ma gwamnatin Najeriya ba Allah ya halicce mu a Najeriya mun tsinci kan mu a Najeriya wani laifi muka yi ma Najeriya yau kwanan mu 120 a ce an kasa ceto mu daga wurin wa'annan bayan Allah mutum 10 suka sa a madadin mu gabaki dai mu su tunda wani abu a ce an gagara ba su abin da suke so to har aka kai ga Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya ba su mutanen su mu wani laifi muka yi a zaman mu na Najeriya wani laifi muka yi ɗan uwan mu sun zo za su fita ɗan uwan sun iya kacin kokarin su za su fita da su an tara hanya me muka yi ma gwamnati me ya laifin mu muna roko a biya ma wa'annan bayin Allah bukatun su in ya gagari Najeriya kasashen ketare su shigo su tallafa su taimaka a fidda mu daga wannan wuri muna roƙon Allah ya sa sun ji su ma kuma a sashen ketare su zo su taimaka ma Najeriya ga abin da muka fara fuskanta kuma farawa akai kenan ba mu san abin da gobe za ta yi ba to muna roƙo a taimaka mana mun gode ba sunana sana abdullahi direbin jirgi na mayakatan najeriya magana ta gaskiya mayakatan jiragen kasar najeriya da gwamnatin najeriya kin gaza kin kasa 
waɗannan bayan Allah nan suka kama mu ba su walakanta mu ba su tutar da mu ba aka sani ma suka ce saboda su tosaya mana suka ba su bukatun su wanda bai taka kara ya karya ba amma gwamnatin Najeriya ta kasa biya musu bukatun su bayan Allah nan ba sa tolin samu ba sa mana wani abu na walakanci amma abu ya kai matuka sun kasa wa'in su bayan Allah ana kokarin za a fita da su ma zuwa amma kuma ina abu ya gagara su zo sun toshe sun hana me suke nufi a ce bayan Allah nan su fito sai mana ma kan shugabannin mu Allah ya wadar lafiya lalace be truthful to yourself do you think nigerians are ready to emancipate themselves from mental slavery nigeria and sri lanka are synonymous to each other if you understand what i mean but the unique qualities of sri lanka is they got tired of sitting and complaining and took actions immediately they walked the walk and talked the talk be sincere to yourself do you think nigerians are seriously ready for liberation in my own opinion if the people of nigeria are seriously serious what is currently happening in sri lanka must be replicated in nigeria as a matter of urgency they tried it during ensas protests but as soon as they saw warehouses of food they left their mission and started scavenging for food you cannot be afraid of sacrifice and you expect change to come you cannot be in desperate need of change but you are scared or afraid to sacrifice if you need change then you must learn to sacrifice the people of sri lanka doesn't have two heads they have only one but they are ready for change and they went in for change if the people of nigeria are not stupid and imbecilic then the case of sri lanka should be plain in nigeria what is happening in sri lanka let's take a look on the lawns of sri lanka's presidential palace protesters gather before storming the official residence taking over demonstrators force their way into the president's private office taking to the pool even working the change out change nigeria is beginning for to happen it's already happening somewhere else and that location is sri lanka sri lanka is a country located in south asia with a population of 22 million lagos state is more populated than sri lanka but look at the crowd look at the crowd nobody is talking about i am ausa i am ibo i am yoruba i am udoma i am ishekri i am urobo nobody is talking about i am a celebrity i am a rich man i am a poor man i'm an average man everybody is on the streets to say no to what corruption to say no to what recycling old criminals that are holding the country to hostage this is sri lanka a small country lagos state has population more than them when you see the people that are willing and ready for change you will know the world is talking about them the whole world is talking about them because they are giving the world reason to talk about them how many people are talking about you nigerians most of you how many the world is not talking about you the world is not interested in your matter because you're not ready for a change you are still interested in keeping your chain nigerians say no to mental slavery say no to monkey they walk about with the chop the people of sri lanka decided to take the bull by the horn they say no to monkey they walk about bull they chop nigerians take a look at your colleagues when it comes to poverty inflation harsh economy corrupt leaders take a look at them they are doing the needful they are doing the needful a woman from sri lanka was interviewed she was asked why are you people protesting she said they entered their president's house only to realize that their president's house is very cool ac meaning that this president is enjoying ac why there is no light in sri lanka the president of sri lanka is eating chicken eating turkey why the people of sri lanka are drinking curry at home do you know that the people of sri lanka entered their president's house they hijacked the house of their president they entered the presidential pool entered their president's kitchen and see the kind of food their president has been eating all these years why they have been suffering can you nigerians enter asurok can you hijack asurok the way the people of sri lanka fearlessly entered their president's house bold people they don't care the repercussion of what they are doing because they know that if they don't do it now 
then their generation will come. Their generation to come, rather, will have a lot to do. They have to fight it now. Can you do it? Can you do it in Nigeria? Can Nigerians do it? And guess what again? The police and military came to stop these people. Sir, this door is locked. They lock this door. All these sergeants are down. They are sergeants are down, locked it. Yes. Yes, they have been locked Okay. Uh, open it. Open it. Open it. You can't go back. There's no bully. Hey, I distinguish. There's space for you, yes. Whip, whip, whip. Senators are coming, please. Bye. <laughs>